internet friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Michui and I'm on a weight loss journey and today is the first installment of cooking commentary Sunday yes I did have a cooking commentary episode previously but we don't talk about that one so I am going to start out with some context because context is important this is going to be a weekly episode where I review all of the food that I have put into my body <laughs> I've been recording the calorie count and macros on the MyNet Diary app, as well as video recording all of the cooking and finished products. Normally I would sprinkle this info in once in a while or throughout the day, but I haven't been doing a good job of that. And this will help me to see how poor of a job I have been doing. I already know that this last week hasn't been great. First off, I didn't have the idea of doing this until about midweek. I was also going through some things this week, but every day that I was recording or kind of letting things go by the wayside, it didn't really hit me how many days in a row or consistently was I doing bad. So if I'm looking at it from a day-to-day -day aspect, I don't really think I was doing that bad, but then I have kind of reviewed a little bit of this over the week and I'm realizing that overall my consistency doesn't look great. So I'm feeling really excited about this new segment. It's really going to help me analyze how my week looks, especially since my goal is to lose a pound a week, which means I need to be in a 3,500 per week calorie deficit, which is also gonna help me figure out why my weekly averages have been not looking the greatest. It's just a great new way for me to hold myself accountable on a broader spectrum. That being said, I'm going to do a day by day ABC grade scale. So at this point, I'm going to minimize my screen and show you guys what the requirements are to get an A through F rating. All right, so here I have it broken down. To get an A, I need to be in a calorie deficit. I need to have recorded it. It should be homemade. I need to hit my protein goals and no substitutes such as protein powder, protein waffles, keto bread, etc. I doubt I will ever be seeing an A. For B, I need to be in a calorie deficit, B recording, food needs to be homemade, protein goals, but it allows the substitutes. For C, I need a calorie deficit, B recording, it needs to be homemade, but I did not hit my protein goals and I did use substitutes. For a D, I need to be in my calorie deficit, B recording, it's not homemade, which means I probably went and ate out, so who knows if I'm actually in my calorie deficit, not enough protein, and yes, on the substitutes. And then for an F, which I know for a fact some of these days will be, I would have to not be in a calorie deficit or not recording it in some way, shape, or form. Because uh, who honestly knows if I'm in a calorie deficit if I'm not recording it? Not homemade, not enough protein, and yes, on substitutes. All right, so now that we have our criteria, let's just go on to the first clip. Uh, actually, we're going to go ahead and give Sunday an F rating because I didn't record it in any way, shape, or form not on my net diary. I think I showed you guys a touch of it on the silent movie Sunday, but as far as all of it goes, I have no idea where I was at. So that gets an F. Okay. So now that we have set the tone for the rest of the week with a big old F, let's move on to Monday. All right. So we are starting Monday out with some oatmeal, two tablespoons of brown sugar, tons of cinnamon with apples. That would be fourth of a scoop of protein powder, and I don't particularly like this protein powder, but it is what it is. Greek yogurt, third of a cup of coconut milk, one tablespoon of the world's best peanut butter, avocados, blueberries, and a cup of spinach. There's my waffles, so this is already knocking it down to a B rating along with the sugar-free syrup, but I mean, that looks amazing. And now on to, I believe, dinner, where I'm going to have a mixture of sweet potato, garbanzo bean, and cauliflower potatoes with 169 grams of shrimp. And that would be it for today. So let's take a look at what I had and always assume I'm having my morning coffee. Basically, you would have a safe bet with that one. 
All right, and this has been downloaded off of my net diary into an Excel spreadsheet. Super easy, super friendly. They had a lot more information on it. Uh, I got rid of all the stuff I didn't care about. Here I have it filtered for Monday, March 4th. Shows the breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. A breakdown of everything I ate, the amounts, and the protein. The potassium one was surprising to me. I haven't been looking at this and I did not know coffee offered such high amounts of potassium. If you see here, my vitamin A is pretty high. That is thanks to the sweet potatoes in the potato mash. Also a good amount of potassium. And here we have just a quick Monday breakdown. This is going to be my morning coffee. There's my oats and my smoothie. And then here's my dinner, totaling at 1,230 calories, which is in my deficit but only 64 grams of protein. My goal is 87, so that did not work. So that looks like I'm going to land at a C. Okay, starting it out strong with some sausage and eggs, some more oatmeal, another smoothie. Uh, I did not realize I ate so much that breakfast morning. That's Steven's breakfast, those are the sausages. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like I was not happy with the protein amount that I got the other day. So yeah, there's two sausage, oh, <laughs> there's my emotional eating, okay. So what we saw was me starting out strong and getting some bad news and then me saying, fuck it. So could have been an A and went straight to F. Uh, yeah, just looking at the screen right now, it is not looking too good. I don't know if I ever turned it around this week. In my head, I did decent. This is crap. <laughs> this is me not doing good at all, which explains why I am up a pound and a half from two weeks ago when I kind of started slipping. I thought my progress picks kind of looked good, but this is showing me the story of my eating habits and it couldn't be any clearer. I mean, I'm not even looking forward to this. I don't know what to expect for Tuesday. I think I, I don't think I even recorded everything for Tuesday, honestly. All right, let's just find out, shall we? Okay, starting out strong with salmon, little salmon scrub with some of the Cajun seasoning and brown sugar, because I love brown sugar. Did some eggs and some sausage. Okay, yeah. I think those were my deviled egg mixture. Then I'm going on to a sweet potato mash with the shrimp because needed to be eaten. And yeah, honestly, it tastes amazing. I just got really sick of it by the end of the week. I'm thinking this score is gonna be pretty okay. All right, so taking a quick look at Wednesday, I've got my coffee, I've got the eggs and sausage and salmon. There's my shrimp and mash. Okay, it looks like I had a lollipop for an additional 100 calories, but I still had room for a cup of blueberries. I was at 1,314 calories and 99 protein. This could be a contender for at least a B. Let me just do a double check here. Yeah, it, it could have been an A if I didn't have that lollipop. I'm okay with a B. I'm honestly striving for an everyday B. That, that, that would be perfect for me. So we'll put a B down there, finally. Doing the oats. I, I do love those oats. Oh, and I like to add a uh, two thirds cup of water because I simmer it on a low medium while I'm cooking everything else. It seems to work out perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to do a waffle with syrup and a third cup of Greek yogurt and then the oatmeal. I know it doesn't sound great and if that was a overnight oat, it probably would taste better, but I love it the way it is. There's a smoothie, there's some sausage. Looks like I'm going to go for a B today with the substitutes. Uh-oh. Uh, if that's the end of the recording, which I believe it is, that might automatically qualify me for another F. Let's check the logbook. Shit. Oh, you know what? This is not an F. This is, well, it's going to be a C. I fasted for the rest of the day. I didn't feel hungry after having all of that. And I was like, hey, let's just go for a mini fast. Try and get me back on track which I don't have a grading scale for if I did a fast. So that's why I'm doing this, to learn the holes in where my plans are. So I did record everything. Everything was homemade. Nope, everything was, well, everything was homemade. I did not get enough protein and I did use substitutes. Yeah, I only got 52 grams of protein. So I think that my grading scale is fine, even for fasting. I still need to get in the required amount per day of protein. So we'll go with a C. At least it's not enough. All right, Friday. Okay, so I was starting out the morning with a tuna salad with avocado and feta cheese to get some protein and fats in. Some sausage. Uh, there's some sweet potato mash. Oh, and then this was Friday when I was talking to you guys and trying to cook at the same time, which is very hard to do, by the way. We'll check the log, but this should be a B. 
the keto bread makes it a B. Friday, what are you doing Friday? Why does that say 1,540 calories? Oh, okay, so after I got done filming, I had like six chicken nuggets from Tyson and some frozen blueberries because I was still hungry. And I'm guessing that was the after effects from fasting the previous day and still being super hungry. I should have just at the very least gotten in my protein and I didn't, didn't record it. I recorded it on my net diary and I still did pretty low for protein even though I tried packing it in. I think what we're seeing here is that those chicken nuggets offered shit for protein. Okay, I went over my calorie deficit. Automatic F this week is really bad. I have got to figure out how to adjust these webcam settings for each time I start and stop recording. That's next week's Michelle's problem. Let's see if I ended the week on a good note on Saturday. Okay, Stephen was cooking breakfast. We did steak. We did a roast steak and we equaled this out to be two and a half tablespoons of butter. There were like 2.5 steaks on there. So we just divided that by two because we both each had a steak and there's no way to tell how much butter actually got on the steak. So we just divided the two. Steven and I go through the exact same process on how to cook a steak. I don't know how he makes his look so much better. Oh, okay. And then I was trying for another grilled cheese tomato soup concoction. And this organic tomato soup had five grams of protein per cup. So I didn't realize that and I highly recommend it. I had a cup of blueberries, forgot to film it. And yes, I did use a dirty bowl to put an additional snack of peanut butter and half an apple in it because I don't see a point in using a different bowl. Okay, I think that I ended on a good note. I really do because I used two cups of that organic tomato soup and it was 10 grams of protein and all that cheese and peanut butter and steak. I think, I think I'm on the clear with my protein. All right, taking a quick look at Saturday, 1,339 calories, that's in the deficit. 104 grams of protein, I am in. Ah, the tortilla shells bring me down to a B. So close. All right, let's mark that with a B and see how we end up looking for the week. So I have three Fs, two Cs, and two Bs. I'm not great at math, but uh, I'm gonna say that's at best a D, not great. I am thankful to this new segment though, because it is making me sit down and really look at this. I honestly, if you had asked me, I would have said I had two off days and this is putting it into a perspective that I had not looked at before. So I am grateful to it. And I am grateful to you guys, my viewers, my subscribers for sitting down and taking the time to watch this. I know it's different than my usual content and that it's pretty obvious that I'm still learning, but even sitting down and doing this for the last two hours, I think I've already improved just a little bit and I will continue to improve. That is my promise. I also promise that I will do better next week. I think I'm already off to a great start and you guys can hold me accountable for it. I mean, oh man, that is just so bad, isn't it? All right. No more dwelling on the past. Off to a new week. I will see you guys tomorrow.